Welcome back, and this is another error that we're gonna do from the same photo from last week, the same guy I'm saying. And um, this is um, a test shot that I shot, and this was to make him feel more comfortable with me in front of the camera because he never had a photo shoot before. And he was shy, a little shy, so I was making joke with him, and um, he wanted to uh, um, take photo, and um, he told me, uh, I, the reason I never take photo before is because I'm a little bit too overweight, and um, I'm a big guy, which he was a big guy. Uh, well, he is a big guy, sorry. And I said, okay, no problem. You know, we started joking, and I, I, uh, he came to my um, I'm a studio home, my my studio's home, and um, we was playing, and I was taking this shot to make him feel and showing him how they look. You know, of course, this photo looks not that good because of this right here. But um, we're gonna edit this and let's let's do that. But the main thing is you gotta talk and make joke with your clients and make them feel good in front of the camera. And yeah, we we did got a lot of couple of um um pictures that he liked it. And, and um, even though uh, this was a while back, he still called me and we talked. You know, he, he liked it. He he, he enjoyed. Because of the way I was and talking with him and, and making jokes, you know, he 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 liked it the way that that, that I was um, in, um, communicating with him and making him feel good. Anyway, um, let's get down and dirty. Um, I'm gonna hit reset so you can know that there's no adjustment done. So now I go to camera um, lens correction and um, I'm gonna hit enable profile correction. Remove chromatic aberration and press auto. And Lightroom did this, which is good. But I'm gonna um, tilt it a little bit like that, and bring this down to about here, and bring this up in to about about there. I think that looks good. Let me see. And that looks oops uh, a little bit here. I didn't notice that. I will say about there. Let me see. That looks good. I like that way it looks. And now, what well, we go is to the basic panel, and I shot this with a flashlight. I mean, flashlight. Uh, <laughs> flash. And um, and and so I'm gonna press um flash because I shot this with flash. Sorry. Now, what I'm gonna do is um go up and um highlights. I'm gonna bring it up to ten. I'm going to bring um, the shadows, I'm going to bring it up to about 10 to the whites, I'm going to bring it to 5, blacks are going to bring it to 10, that looks good, um, and I'm going to bring clarity, a little bit of clarity to 11, saturation, I'm going to bring it down all the way to about, um, let's say 15, and you can see that this, this, this photo was real, real um, sharp. Um, I shot this with my Nikon um, D3300, I think. Yes, uh, with my Nikon D3300 with um, the Tom Run lens, 70, uh, uh, I think it's 28 to 75 f.2. Yes, I, and this was uh, 28, um, you can see. Uh, ISO was 100, that was real good. Uh, anyway, so we did that. Now, let's. Um, what I'm going to do is get a brush because um, I'm going to go and paint over here. I'm going to press O so I can know what I'm painting. And I'm going to do this because um, he wanted the background um, like um, black because he was overweight, and, uh, you know, and he was a big dude. And he said, um, I, I, I want to you put a background so I don't, you know, I don't want to see that much. I just want um headshot and all that and so i said let's let's try this body like that and like this so you can no but i'm too overweight and i don't like it so but at the end we took some photo like this and he didn't want to the whole body so i said okay no problem but he loved this he loved his photos and that looks good now what i'm gonna do is come a little bit here and a little bit there why not a little bit there and touch right about here now i'm gonna hold all on the um, keyboard 
and that will press automatic minus you know to take off all this that I went over too much and a little bit here and right here okay so that looks good and a little bit here you know and uh, oops I went sorry I went over here let me just clean this spot right here okay now I press O again so I can see what I've done and now what I'm gonna do an explosion I'm gonna bring all the way down and contrast all the way down I mean up to 100 so we went minus 4 and plus 100 on the on the contrast and now I'm gonna touch here a little bit of course you would take your time and do it better than this you know because this don't look that great you know but you will take your time and do it right so that looks uh much better um we're gonna um after this done this edit here we're gonna take it to um n the next software and see what else we can do to enhance this uh, photo first um i'm gonna go exposure again and bring this up to about um 15 and go right here on his eyes and then i'm gonna close it and open another one but this one i'm gonna go to uh shadow and bring some of this right here you can see this is i want to bring it up so i can see you know and right here too you know that looks good and about here you know what bring it over here too that looks great I like the way that looks close that bring this you can see in the photo it was real sharp now I'm gonna open a little brush but this time I'm gonna go to exposure I want to bring the eyes out you know to pop a little bit and it's a little too dark so I'm gonna bring in them out I'm gonna go here and here and now what I'm gonna bring is the exposure up to about I know it looks a little bit too much here now, but you know, I'm doing this so you can see it, uh, see the difference. So now I go back and, uh, okay, my camera is, I mean, my thing is a little bit, so now you can see the difference. But I'm going to, I noticed something right here, this here. So what I'm going to do is, um, get, open the brush and go over here and click on it so that gave me the adjustment to adjust and go back here and do this you know that's why you always gotta um take your time and do this right but remember like i said i don't have time because i'm doing this edit for the, um for youtube so you know of course you know the client when he came i gave him uh, i took my time and edit all the bad stuff you know it was on it anyway that looks good now now that looks way different but over here I'm gonna open another brush right here and exposure I'm gonna leave it at 15 I'm gonna bring the clarity down and the sharpening down I'm gonna press O so I can see what I'm painting oh that was an F <laughs> anyway as it goes you gotta paint here all this make this you know nice okay okay that looks good I'm probably gonna go over it a little bit yeah I did don't worry I'm gonna fix it just I'm doing this fast so that's why I'm doing this mistake you will take your time and do it right okay so now I press all again on the keyboard and hold all while you holding all you can erase this there you go please take your time and subscribe and leave your comment okay and let's press O again and see that now I haven't done that no adjustment there but let's bring it up a little bit ooh that looks better oh I didn't want here I thought I did okay that looks better <clears throat> Now what I want to do is um bring um 
the colors here I'm running it a little bit to about that color a little bit oops a little bit to that color right there that looks good and I think that looks good let me go on a little bit here there you go to get in there that looks good you know you will take your time and do all these little spots but I can you know because I'm just doing it for the for the YouTube anyway close that and that looks good I think that looks good but I'm gonna open another one and this time I'm gonna go minus um, 15 contrast I'm gonna bring it up because I want to make this shirt a little bit darker you know it's too I don't know I, I, I want to see it a little bit darker oops I went over don't worry I'm gonna correct that I don't know there you go and right here that looks starting to look good I like the way that looks and over here you don't mind if it goes out you know okay let's go um hot all and take this from here that I want did it now <clears throat> sorry I'm gonna go here that looks good 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 you know uh, you know what I'm gonna go on clarity a little bit that looks good but I'm going down to about 38 I like that <clears throat> so now we went from this you know with all the thing from this to this so let's keep on let's not stop here let's keep on and what I'm gonna do here is go here and do this now that should be um, taking off that now let's go to effects and bring this down to about 19 that looks good um, camera calibration I'm gonna bring this up to the blues to 11 that looks good so now what I'm gonna do is export this photo to the next software and um, let's go here and um, hmm, we got these for next software so I'm gonna go to this one and let's see what we can do and um, it asks me here to if I want to import it yes with all the adjustments so yes we do that um, remember please take your time and subscribe I, I will appreciate it leave your comment doesn't matter the comment you leave leave it you know it doesn't hurt you to leave a comment <clears throat> sorry so here we go <clears throat> here we go to the <clears throat> So there's a um, place over here and um, so what I want to do is uh, hit this icon right here will take me to all this the tool combination and what I want to do is go to a uh, vintage camera go there and let's look at this um, I don't like that let's look at that don't like that don't like that you can see right here all the things that is do and I let's see that I hit that button but no I don't like that you know what I'm gonna work with this one right here and that looks good that looks great it looks great to me and first I'm just gonna take the that framing I don't like it and um, this I'm gonna change it's cool let me see Play around with this. No, no, no. Huh. I like that. Um, film type. Let me see. Huh. You don't see it now. The difference between this one, this one. Wait a minute. If I'm taking film time, is this? I took this off. Oh boy. Um, lens. Um. Vintage. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, that looks good. I'll leave that there. Go to um, light leaks, and um, hmm. 
Wow. I think that even looks better. Let's see, what you think? I think that looks good. Uh -huh. I like that. Wow. See that that one? You see? Oh, I like that one too. It's this one. Or that one. This one. Or that one. Let me see. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going for this one. I think I'm going for this one and bring it up a little bit down. You know. That looks, give it a different mood there. Yeah. I'm going to go to bouquet, right here, like it says. I'm going to bring this down, bring up a little bit, and go right here, because that's the main um, focusing area. And bring this down a little bit, just a little bit, touch. That looks good. I like that, that everything else is blurred. And he's the main focus right there. Um, I'm gonna go to um, adjustment, brush adjustment, basic adjustment, sorry. <clears throat> and I'm gonna bring this up. See how it says minus 15? Over here, I'm gonna bring it up to minus 0. That way, we can see all these, um, the details that I did on him over there. That looks good. Um, and let me go back to um, light leak. And see this one. Hmm. Alright. See this one. Dude. I like this one. This one is the one we stay. And we're going to save that. And we're going back to um, Lightroom. It's going to take it back to Lightroom. And this is a beautiful edit that we've done. And um, we started. Let's. Um, sorry. Uh, and one, just give me a minute. Oh, we started here. I mean, before we take it to the light room, we went here. We was we started from this one. We went up to here, and um, I don't know. It's a little slow. Anyway, we went to there from here to this, and then we took this. We imported to um. Um, Nick, the Nick software, and we went, we converted to this one. Now, let me check how it looks in black and white. Um, nah, not a fan of black and white on that with these things. Let me see the other one, and let me see how it looks in how it looks in black and white. And my camera, um, my oh, it looks good. Actually, it looks good. I like that too. You see. That looks nice. Only of this, I will take off the coloring that I did, and this will look good. And you know what? I didn't give him this in black and white. I might send it to him because, like I told you, I don't know if I told you that I keep in touch with him because he enjoyed the, the photo shoot so much that I was making jokes on him, and he enjoyed it and liked it. Uh, so I might send him this in black and white. Anyway, that looks good. And sorry. I'll go back and this is the uh, like I said this is the last um where we ended um this was the final touch of um combination of a lightroom and um Nick software um guys please take your time and subscribe leave your comment if you did like this tutorial leave your comment please appreciate it and keep on practicing practicing and you will get better and Thank you. Until next time, please subscribe.